Are you looking for some awesome effects? Get access to thousands of exclusive premium effects, free effects as well, with their super affordable pro memberships. Click the link in the description. What's up guys, these are the most professional effects in Vegas Pro 16. Hello, I'm Gary Rebholtz, and I'm proud to introduce Vegas Pro 16. Over the past two years, we've made significant changes to Vegas Pro, and with version 16, we implement some of the features that you've told us that are most important to you. For example, with Vegas Pro 16, you have more powerful video stabilization. We'll be watching for your creative work, and as always, listening for your feedback. Thank you, and good luck in all of your video editing projects. So now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, as you can see right now, this is just a clip of a car chase. And I'm going to also leave the link in the description to this clip if you guys want to do the same. Or you can just basically do this on any clip. So as you can see, this is what the clip looks like right now. And we're going to make some significant changes to this clip by just using this new stabilization tool that Vegas Pro 16 now contains. So what we're going to do is usually you would go to the video effects tab and then as you can see drag on the, um, the stabilization tool but it's not really working that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the tools button at the top. We're going to pick video and we're going to select the media effects one. Then as you can see this box pops up and right here you want to scroll all the way to the right until you see video stabilization. So you want to click on add, click on OK and then this menu pops up and this is also just like the automatic motion tracking. This is also new and right here we have the motion track quality. You want to keep that one on accurate the motion compensation, you want to put that one to translation. And if we click on analyze motion, it's going to analyze the entire shakiness of the clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on analyze motion. And right now it's going to take, you know, just like maybe three seconds. And now it analyzed that. And now we can go ahead and, you know, click on the correction tab and the motion blur. And now if you play it back, as you can see, we have like kind of black bars going all around. So you want to make sure that you will check this one, avoid black borders like that. So if you play it back, it reduces it just a little bit. So we, do, we just need to go ahead and zoom in a little bit until those black bars are not visible anymore like that, as you can see. But if you go ahead and play it back, if you go frame by frame, as you can see right here, there are a, there are a few frames that still have that. So you just want to go ahead and add in a little bit of a zoom just until they're gone. And if you move on it, you know, frame by frame, you want to make sure that all the black bars are actually removed. So if you go ahead and as you can see, do that, if we play it back, this is what it looks like. And that is a huge difference. This video was shot like really shaky, you know, probably on the back of another car that was driving in front of this car. And that was just a lot of shakiness. And that's a really great thing that Vegas Pro 16 has now uh, has this feature. And this works on any footage, guys. So let's say that you're, for example, sitting in a car and, you know, the, the footage is really shaky. You can just apply this one and then you can just go ahead and analyze the motion and then, you know, mess around with the zoom. And I think the thing is that you have to zoom in quite a bit because if we go ahead and zoom out all the way, as you can see, like the original video, if you play it back, we have all kinds of, you know, black bars going all around so in order to hide these you just want to zoom in just a little bit like that and if we play it back this is the end result guys just zoom in just a little bit more this is the end result and that is how amazing it is this is how we use the new stabilization tool so that is how to do it Now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, we're gonna first go ahead and drag in a nice background that we obviously need. Okay, then the second thing what we need to do is we need to go ahead and hit the media generators. Then we're gonna obviously scroll down until we see legacy text because if you have certain fonts, the normal titles and text this one it is possible that some of the fonts you know vegas is not reading so you want to make sure that you will pick a legacy text for this one then we're going to drag the transparent one on top of the photo as you can see like that then we have sample text and you can basically type in anything that you want 
So what we're going to do is, for example, we're going to type in handwritten, and then we're going to also pick a nice font that fits with this. So we're going to double select it, and I'm going to type in love time, and it's going to be this one, as you can see, a nice handwritten font. So then what we need to do, the next thing is we need to simulate that a hand is writing this. So first we're going to trim it down, then we're going to hit the event Ivan Pan crop and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit mask at the very bottom and then we want to go ahead and make sure that it's going from the top to the bottom so we're not gonna make it you know fade like that because it's not gonna look like it's handwritten so what we're gonna do first of all is we're going to place this guy right here then we're gonna just go ahead and zoom in a little bit and then we're gonna just basically start from the top we're gonna go ahead and select this one the first letter like that boom connect it so that's what it looks right now you can also move these points by holding control and then you can just go ahead and as you can see uh, drag these guys around so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and we're gonna cut it a half in the middle because it's gonna start from the top obviously then what we're going to do is we're gonna move up a few keyframes I would say one two three then we're gonna drag these points down so it looks like it's been written from the top so that's what we're gonna do like that then we're gonna move up three keyframes and then we're gonna just pick a little bit more of the second one we're gonna go ahead and drag it like that make sure that it is nice and even like this then we're gonna go ahead and move up three frames again then we're gonna go ahead and pick a little bit more of the second letter then move up three frames and this is what you want to repeat for everything else so we're gonna also drag this guy at the bottom a little more then we're gonna move up three frames again I'm just gonna speed this up add some music underneath it because otherwise you're gonna watch like a 15 minute video so I'm gonna speed this up and then you will see what the result will look like so go ahead and just move up three frames pick a little bit more of it just hold left control to drag these points like that and then you guys know how to do it so this is basically how it's done and enjoy this little time-lapse Alright guys, so I just got done masking and this is basically what it looks like. So now that you guys got the idea of how that's done, you can just obviously resize this by for example hitting the track motion icon. And then if you go ahead and make this bigger, if I play this back, it basically looks like it's been handwritten. So the next thing and the last thing what you could do is you can add in that hand animation. And the concept of this is if you resize this, you want to go ahead and for example, place it at the top like this, go ahead to the beginning and just hit the sync cursor button. And then if you go up a few frames, you can just go ahead and make this hand go down. And for example, then make position the hand where the next drawing is going to be like that. So if I go ahead and skip a few frames, you can just place this hand where the letters are going. That's what I'm going to do right now. So then I'm just going to go ahead and place it right when these letters are appearing like that. So I'm going to just go ahead and do it like this. Place it at the bottom. Move up a few, move up a few frames. And then I'm just going to pretend that this hand is actually drawing it. So that's what you want to do for the entire thing. So we want to just hit a keyframe further and then anytime where the letter appears, you want to point the pencil on that part. So we're going to place it like that. Move up a frame, move up a frame, go ahead and place it on where it's happening a little bit further like that. Move up frames until it looks like this hand is drawing. And then, as you can see at the bottom, it starts to happen. So we're going to place this hand right there. And you guys know how it works. It takes a little bit of time, but if you want to recreate an awesome effect, you have to spend some time on it. So that is basically how to do this. So let's enjoy the music. This is the last time lapse of this video. And then I'm going to show you guys the end result.
So guys, I just got done masking and as you guys can see, this is the end result. So guys, that's how amazing it is. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new video, obviously tomorrow. Make sure to drop a like down below if you like this effect and if you're going to put it to use. Anyways, guys, that's it and I will see you guys tomorrow. Give, 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 give